close running mate say some words that uh, may also affect Tinubu. Okay, this guy has said, you know, and Nigerians are asking him, does your prediction also inc include your principle, Tinubu? The guy said, and in Nigeria, he has discovered something. Hello, my people. Shetima has blew it. Oh. Blew it open. Hear it. Anyone who runs after the presidency in Nigeria never gets it. But you all remember Emil Ukon. You all remember it. So could it be that the person who is pursuing it firmly may not get it because Emil Ukon has said, it's my turn. It is my lifelong ambition to become Nigerian's president. And so Tinubu's uh, running mate, Kashim Shatima, is being asked, since you said anyone who is, you know, invariably saying Emil Ukon may not get it. Are you saying, Tinubu, you guys will not get it? Are you just following through with a blind prediction? Or you just... In my own opinion, I think Shatima is being honest here. Because if you looked around, in every ramification, there's no way Tinubu will get to, to the throne. And there's no way Shatima himself will get to the throne. Yeah, Aisha Yusuf is campaigning for Peter Obi. A lot of people in Sanfara campaigning for Peter Obi. So the East are campaigning for Peter Obi. The, um, the Nollywood that doesn't put their mouth in, in, in uh, politics that much, they are coming out like a Kanayo Kanayo and many more coming out supporting Peter Obi. So he looked around because of their record. Shetima is the, is the, is the head of um, Boko Haram. We've seen him in many places with them. We have the proofs. They try to play it down. And the Nigerians are not going to, they are, they are, not, they are not buying it. They are not going to sus, sus, subscribe, subscribe to their lies anymore. So I think Shetima has talked to himself. The way things are, they are not going to get there. There's nothing they can do about it. Shifa will always said, when Nigerians are ready, they will deliver themselves. All these people that say these things, they are resting now. They are in their grave. But everything they said are coming to pass. Many, many years back, it's not coming to light now. We are now seeing what is going on in Nigeria. So I believe Shatima knows what he's talking about. Uh, people, a lot of people, the Christian kicked against uh, Muslim, Muslim tickets. You know, the controversy is just too much. It's just too much. See the mockery. See the insult here and there. See the error of Tinubu, everybody bringing it out. It is not going to happen. Nigeria of 2022, 2023 is not like the other Nigerians. The other Nigerians that all the youth, they've been using them as a political thugs. They, they give them guns, they give them money, all these things. All those youths, they are not taking it anymore. They say, we don't want it. We don't want to know. We want to take our destiny in our own hands. So Shetima, Shetima knows what he's talking about. Tinubu is not going anywhere. He's just deceiving himself. Um, Nigeria is not your property. It's not your father's property. You boasted that you are richer. Tinubu boasted that he's richer than um, Oshun State. Good for you. You are the landlord of Lagos. Good for you, but la not landlord of Nigeria. Nigeria don't want to die. And it's about time you just accept and respect Nigerians' um, um, decision. There's not going to be any rigging in 2023. You see what happened in Oshun? They tried to rig Oshun. They rigged Oshun four years ago. But this time, they could not rig it. So we are getting wiser, clever, day by day. Thank you, my people. I hope you enjoyed the gist. Bye for now. By Olga Chukwu's widow. Charity or